Hey guys, and welcome back to the Horror Room. That's right, an actual horror video in a horror channel. I know, now, to be transparent, I do all kinds of things, but horror is my main love of my life. I, I grew up on horror, and it uh, was through some dark times it got me through. So it was really, really good, and I pay homage to it. And we've actually got some news to report on today that's really good. And actually worth making a video on. Because there's always horror news, but I'll try to pick and choose like what's super important what I think you guys might like to see. So, this comes from Deadline, if you want to source it out. And basically, Spyglass has found a director and all kinds of things for their new uh, rendition, their new remake, always remakes, a 1987 movie. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you what movie came out in 1987? You all remember Pinhead? Yes, Hellraiser. They're remaking Hellraiser, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's not a, another sequel. There's a graphic novel to Hellraiser. Uh, several, I've had several sequels. You know, it spawned a whole... It's a little more than a cult following, I'd say. But Hellraiser came about in the 80s when, you know, sex was basically... Um, looked down upon, shunned upon, as dirty, as nasty, as the AIDS epidemic, you know, no one, oh, sex is terrible, and BDSM, and, and Hellraiser was one of those movies that came along and, and showed that it could be uh, fun, I guess, in a sadistic way, sadomasochism, and uh, it was uh, just to show light that people have sex, and it's part of culture, and uh, especially with all the shows in the 80s, and the wholesome family, you know, television and it was just something that was uh, uh, suppressed sexuality was severely suppressed in the 80s but you know it's really cool to see it come back I'm super excited um, you know it's something that I, I who doesn't like a good sexual movie in horror I mean it's and along with the uh, mental capacity that hell the Hellraiser series brings you it's pretty cool so uh, like I said, it was being rebooted by Spyglass with Robert S. Geyer writing and producing, which is really cool. He's did a few things, not a whole lot, but a few. And obviously, uh, David uh, Buckner is actually going to be the director. Um, Spyglass Media has done, uh, they're actually quite new. They did a few projects, but not a whole lot. So it's going to be interesting how they handle this type of property and see what they do with it. And they're going to be reading the, the, uh, articles and material on this uh, new news it's going to be in the same vein they're not going to change a whole much basically think of what halloween did um david gordon green and danny mcbride did to the new halloween series except they're not following any sequels this is going to be a, a a reboot i guess or you know a remake but they're going to stay in the same vein, stay in the same novel that created because Hellraiser came from a novel. Hellbound, I think it was. Don't quote me on that. So they're probably going to read that novel, just basically do a whole uh, revamp, reboot, put it back in the 2020 vein, and probably... Uh, it's going to be interesting to see because Hellraiser... Here's my concern. Hellraiser came out because uh, sexuality was so oppressed then. And now we're not. I mean, it, it, you know, you're actually, if you make someone, uh, make fun of someone's sexuality, you're, you're cast out of society, you know, with this, uh, proper society that we live in, you know, everyone, uh, you know, curses everyone behind shadows, but man, if you say something in the public light about another, uh, uh, way of life that's not your own, you're going to get ridiculed. So it's going to be interesting, and maybe they'll do something like that. They'll have, uh, Hellraiser pick on, picking on different groups. I don't know. It's going to be very interesting to see how they play this because it was all about bringing sex to the forefront, showing that it was okay, and showing that people have sex. Now, since that's not an issue today, how are they going to source that material and how are they going to uh, bring it into the new standings of today's um, pop culture and today's culture itself? Because it's changed so much from the 80s uh, suppression of sexuality till now where it's sex is everywhere. <laughs> you know, so, you know, who doesn't like a little good BDSM, right? So, we're going to see how it goes. I, I don't know how they're going to do this. I, I'm really interested to get more information. There's several articles you can go to uh, 
Screen Geeks, you can go to uh, Blood Disgusting, has got some uh, things on it, but, you know, David Buckner is a good director, obviously, and, you know, you know, uh, David S. Guy, you're writing and producing, we'll see how it goes, I, I don't know about, a lot about Spyglass, they haven't did a lot of properties, so that also worries me how they're gonna, it's not a huge property, you know, I don't know what the budget is, I can't imagine being over $10 million, it's a, it's a very small budget. I, I mean, uh, ten to twenty would would be what I uh, would perceive it to be, especially for a small company like Spyglass, who's just kind of getting, you know, getting into the reins and getting their ears wet. But still, ten to twenty million. You know, you do a profit of, let's say, people come out in support of a hundred million. That's that's great. Plus, you got DVD and releases and streaming, and who knows, like how long the coronavirus is going to be around and and oh god it, it, they're not even you know shooting it yet so if it's still around them we're well that would just be atrocious and we might as well just give up on life now, i'm joking i'm joking steady the course mates so that's the update they're bringing together a good crew it looks like to do hellraiser a reboot and not a sequel let me know what you think comment down below and as always stay creepy